Hello, my name is Jordan Gibbs here at Gold Lakes Career and Technical Ed, um, and I'm here to show a bit about my uh, knowledge in networking. I've been learning a bit from Jeremy's IT lab um, for the CCNA um, course that he has, free. Um, I also, and this is for my research and development uh, project. Um, so. Yeah, I wanted to share a bit about uh, what I've been learning uh, from his first video. So, well, to start off, this is about networking or network devices. Um, this is just about his first video, so I just want to share the knowledge that I've gained. Um, all credit goes to him. Um, I've done a little bit of research myself, but he's he's pretty on top of it when it comes to networking. I'd highly recommend anyone trying to learn networking to um, watch his videos anyways to start off what is a network a network are basically uh, two or more different uh, devices connected together so that they could um, communicate with each other um, for example if two computers are connected to c together and could send a message to each other um, then that would be called a network it's very simple and I have a little diagram right here um, like let's say this computer um, we see it's like connected via wire right if this this computer could send a message to this computer um, that's called a network um, next I want to move on to the client and server relationship um, so we see here we have a server right here and we have different computers right here now a client is something is like a device that um, like wants a service uh, via a server like it it requests services from a server and a server is a device that provides functions f or services for those um, devices or clients I should say so for example let's say that this computer right here wanted to access a web page um, via this server well the server is providing a service to the um, the computer so the relationship would be this is the client and this is the server since it's providing a service and this is requesting a service um, now it's important to note that um, this server could be a client and a server at the same time like let's say this guy is requesting a service from here and then this this server is requesting a service from this computer well then this computer would be a server um, and this guy would be a ser server and client and this guy would just be a client so I think that basically <laughs> explains it really simply um, I think Jeremy explained it way better than I did but um, yeah Anyways, what are routers? Um, sorry for this pixelated image. Uh, this is a router right here, and this is a server. So a router is basically a network device that connects two different networks together um, and controls traffic between those networks, or kind of. So basically, let's say that this router was connected to this network right here, right? This, this this is a network of three computers, and then let's say this is a different network of a server by itself, right? Um, they're each on different uh, local area networks. Now, we're going to assume that this server has its own router, um, or else it wouldn't be able to really communicate with the outside world. But, yeah, we're assuming that it has a router in this case. So, let's say that this this computer wanted to go out to the internet to get something from this server well they're both on different lands or local area networks right so this this um this computer would or well i should say that they would get a um, ip address um from and it would convert well they would go to the website and convert that to um, an IP address and the router would basically um, convert that over and they would send services basically. Um, that's fairly, really a 
bad and simple way of explaining it, but yeah, I, I'm not too into this yet, so um, please excuse my um, ignorance. But yeah, it would the computer would have to use the router in order to access the services of the server. Let's just put it like that, as well as any of these other computers. And let's say the server uh, wanted to request something of this computer. Well, its own router would have to travel across the internet or a bunch of different, I would say the internet is basically a bunch of different connected routers, kind of. So, this guy would um, request to its router that it wants a service from this guy, this computer, um, and the router would um, make a connection between those two. Anyways, sorry for that bad explanation, but yeah. Um, switches. What are switches? Well, switches are basically a network device that um, controls the traffic within a local area network. Uh, well, what do I mean by that? Well, if we go back to the other slide, let's pretend that um, this is a switch and that these were all a whole big network, right? Um, let's say that this guy wanted to um, send a message to this computer in their own local area network. Well, then the switch would basically forward that message to here. This is what a switch looks like. Um, it usually has 20, 24 ports or more. Um, Jeremy called it uh, network interfaces. Um, ports are basically the, um, the way that the computers are connected in a way um, but yeah so it controls that like local area network um, and they do that via MAC addresses which are basically a unique identifier of that device it's a physical so it's in the OSI model layer 1 well I should say it's layer 2 the well the switch communicates on layer 2 but the MAC address is physical I should say that. Um, but yeah, um, let's say a computer wanted to send a message to another computer within its own local area network. It would do that via this switch. Um, but yeah. And what is a firewall? A firewall basically protects your internet from or your network from um, outside sources, um, as Jeremy explained it. Um, it could be placed inside or outside the network, like this is right here. It's played out. It's placed outside the home network, in this case. And what they do is they basically, um, you're they're basically configured to keep in or to let in only the good stuff, like no harmful malicious uh, stuff like let's say these red uh, lines right here are bad lines of code um, and this green line is only good lines of code it would only let in the green line of code because it's good and uh, it's configured to only let that uh, let that kind of traffic inside the network um, its goal is basically to protect the hosts within a network if you don't know what a host is, a host is any device that connects to a network and can communicate with other devices, like these guys right here. Now, I'm not really sure what this white box is. I'm guessing it's either... No, it looks like a switch because it's connected like this. Um, but I'm going to guess it, it's, it's, it's either a router or a switch. Um, but yeah, it's, it's designed to protect your... Uh, PCs and servers inside your own home network and I think that's all I have to say about um, that first video um, thanks again to Jeremy's IT lab for uh, giving me this knowledge um, thank you my viewers for listening and I hope you guys have a good day